Welcome back to Light Bicycle Tech Tips. I'm Michael and today I'm going to be telling you about the differences between the DT 240s and the Industry 9 Torch Mountain Bike Hubs. Industry 9s are one of the options here at the North American warehouses, while DT 240s are one of the main options at the global warehouses in China. So the first thing you might want to know is are these going to work with my bike? And the short answer is yes. Both DT Swiss and Industry 9 offer this model in both boost and non-boost, in center lock and six bolt, and in a wide variety of axle options. Everything from quick release to 15mm to 12mm. So what is the 240? The DT Swiss 240 has been synonymous with high quality mountain bike hubs for years now. DT actually makes a higher end hub, the 180, that has ceramic bearings and a carbon shell, and a lower end hub, the 350, that's a little bit heavier if this isn't the hub for you. So weight and color aside, the most important difference between these hubs is how the free hub actually engages. So here I have the 240, and as I pull it apart, you can see what we have here is what they call the star ratchet system. So basically, the star ratchet system, these two guys right here, spin against each other, and when they're going forward, hub's engaged, and when they're sliding over top, that's when you're freewheeling. So the advantages of the star ratchet system are, at all times, every single point of this is engaged. When you compare that to a regular Paul system, you might have, in the case of Industry 9, three of six Pauls engaged, but here we have 360 degrees of engagement at the same time. DT Swiss offers the star ratchet system in 18, 36, and 54 teeth. Due to this relatively simple star ratchet design, DT Swiss hubs are well known for requiring very little, if any, maintenance. If DT Swiss is synonymous with high-end mountain bike parts, so is Industry 9. Industry 9 is a company based out of Asheville, North Carolina, and with the exception of the bearings, every single part of their hub is manufactured there in-house. So I know we talked about the star ratchet system from DT Swiss offering 360 degrees of engagement, but the six pawl system from Industry 9 is actually incredibly robust as well. So as you can see, the Industry 9 six pawls, there's three of them engage at one time, giving three points of contact. And each one of those pawls has a step in it, so it's actually six points of contact. When you rotate the hub that three degrees, the next three pawls engaged. The advantages of that, of course, are that Industry 9 has a very, very high 120 points of engagement. Just like DT, Industry 9 hubs are well known for acquiring very little, if any, maintenance. Industry 9 offers new springs and pawls if you want to replace them if they wear out over time. The DT Swiss is a little bit lighter. We're looking at about 30 grams for the rear hub, and the front hub's almost the exact same weight. Industry 9, like I said, 30 grams heavier. Not a huge difference at the end of the day, but if you're really trying to build the lightest wheel set possible, that might matter to you. On the flip side, maybe weight doesn't matter as much to you and making your bike look as sick, sick, sick as possible is more important. In that case, DT Swiss only available in black, whereas Industry 9 is available in 11 anodized colors that can match pretty much anything out there. So there you have it. There are some of the key differences between the Industry 9 Torch Mountain Bike Cubs and DT Swiss 240s. Is one better than the other? I don't know. Depends who you ask. Either way, I know that both of these options are great and will keep you happy for a long time.